we got the big grapple on the front of the little rufus here now as you guys know i'm not a i'm not i really don't like putting this big grapple on the front of the of rufus because of the simple fact it, it's wide it weighs a lot it's a big heavy grapple but this is really better for going in up under brush and clamping it and pulling that brush out and carrying it to a burn pile i hate manual labor but sometimes you can work harder trying to use this to pick up this little stuff than it would be just to you know do it like this all right so the last time we were mowing over here i couldn't get up under any of this because uh these limbs all hung down really really low so with the mini clip we've come in here and clipped all this off and this is going to make it where we can actually mow this down and keep it up but there's a lot of little brush in here and again this is where this type of grapple uh really helps you scoot it along the ground let it let it skid does very little damage to the grass. Does a good job cleaning. Well, it does have its purpose, but the biggest the biggest problem with a small tractor is that the load is hanging out so far in front of you that it really reduces the capacity of the tractor. Up, trying to get on the tire. Ah, I got it. There's a snake in that pile. That's it. If you got a big 40 horsepower tractor, maybe I would say this would be the perfect, the 66 inch would be the perfect travel for you. moving on to mowing uh normally i would take the loader off to mow because it gives you better visibility you can get in closer to things but because we're moving back and forth i've done a trade-off i've taken the bucket off the front that way i can see and still get a little bit closer and i don't have as much weight hanging out in the front of the tractor bouncing up and down so let's get to mowing so i really like this hydraulic top link for for the finishing mower you push it all the way down and then you can extend it out so that you have full flexibility here. That lets the mower travel up and down, basically free float on the back of the tractor. So it's a very flexible system. I keep saying this over and over again, but I've found nothing that the hydraulic top link doesn't do better. I get a lot of people asking, how does this tractor handle a five foot finishing mower? Well, I'm fitting, I, I'm fitting to show you. This is a five foot finishing mower. I run it up to uh, right around uh, 27, 2800 RPMs. That puts it at the PTO at 540. I've had nothing but good luck out of this. So let's get to it.
right, we're gonna wrap this up here. We'll, we'll finish this video. This is one video finished. And then we'll go into moving some gravel and cleaning up still back in the back to move, put the sawmill in. But I'm glad to get this cleaned up. We're, we, uh, we really, this is the first time that we've ever mowed this with a, with a finish mower since we've owned the property. And you can look out across here and see this is pretty, pretty good. I mean, it's gonna, it's not, it's not terribly ugly. And then if you follow over here, the ditch bank is still kind of gnarly a little bit. And so I can't get to it right now, but I think the, the brush tiger, we're gonna put the brush tiger on. I got, I got some stuff to do with the brush tiger and it's gonna be perfect for getting in here and cleaning this kind of stuff up that you can't get with a normal mower. And it sure beats, the brush tiger definitely beats a uh, weed eater. But anyway, so I think we've answered the question on the T264. Will it pull a five foot finish more? Absolutely. And I, it did it very well. And I think Rufus has uh, earned a bath. There we go. Talk about it now. Hey, we just finished this video up and we get over here and notice that a rock flew across the road and I'm pretty good ways apparently and hit this window and it didn't go through the other side, but it sure knocked this window out and it's all cracked to a thousand pieces. Uh, it just shattered. So if, probably if I close the door real hard, it's gonna come out. Future notice, do not park. Yeah, don't park across the road when you're, when you're finishing mowing around a pile of rock. Who, who knew, huh, right? I mean, the odds of that happening are probably unbelievably low because there is really no piles of rock out here, but it picked up something and threw across here and busted our window out. Or a bird flew into it. No. Uh, at, get... least it did, at least it didn't hit me. So. That's right, it didn't hit you, that's for sure. Yeah, because you were just right down here. I don't know. It's the new kind of... It's a new window. kind of looks pretty cool, not with you standing behind it, but with the cracks and yeah, everything. That's, what, that's probably a $500 pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, if you like what we do, hit that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon. Uh, the little bell icon will let you know when we put out something new. God bless and have a great day.